Hey guys, it's May May, and check out this cool card. This is a card I received for my birth birthday, I think two years ago, from my friend Gareth. And this is how you send it. It shuts down and goes into an envelope like this. And when the recipient gets it, they can lock it into the little brad that holds it open. And it becomes a stand, so it stands up like this. But ever since I got this card from him, I've always thought that is so cute to be shaped like a Christmas tree, or at least I think it will work like that. So I'm going to try to make this into a Christmas tree that you could use for all kinds of things. But today I think I'm going to try to make it into a place setting marker, you know, like for your Christmas table. So let's see if we can do it. So it's pretty simple. Actually, I kind of went by what he made and I can tell that he used three four by four um, squares of cardstock. So we're going to start with that. Now these guys are creased on the diagonal and I'm going to use my scoreboard because I'm using kind of a thick cardstock and I think that will make things easier on me if I do that. So remember how I've told you before I do this marker line down my scoreboard so I can see where I'm at without really measuring. I'm not worried about measuring these guys. I just want to get my score mark down the center. So I'm going to do it like this and hold my paper in place real snug and give them a crease mark down the middle, just like that. And do that on all three of them on an angle. Now that I've got those scored on an angle, I'm gonna go ahead and crease them down really good because one of the things about this, what will be a tree or can be a card, is that it stands up nice and tall with these creases. It makes the paper sturdy. So I'm gonna go ahead and just crease them, or fold them down and crease them really good. I folded that one backwards. It's like, why is that one giving me resistance? That's why. All right, so crease that dude down. And again, I'm using a thick textured Nina cardstock because I think it'll be pretty for these trees. So get those folded and creased really well. Now we're gonna put them together. And I'm doing this based on like looking at his original card. You guys ever do this? You ever take a card and just kind of look at it? So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start with one on the bottom. That's gonna be this guy, just like this. And then I'm gonna take this middle one and I'm gonna glue it here. So I'm gonna match one of the angles up to the top and run the side down the score mark. So you're gonna end up with kind of these points like this, but that's what we're looking for. So I'm just gonna flip this guy over. So I'm gonna run my glue onto this piece to start with. If I need to add any glue to the other, I can. I just wanna make sure I have enough. I'm gonna do a little dry fit here. Yep, that's gonna be good. And then I'm gonna line up that top point with this second piece on an angle. And then I'm just gonna slide that down and glue that together just like that. So that's our first piece. Now our second piece, we're going to match this point to the top, but this time we're laying it like we did the first piece. Okay, so it's a little confusing, I know, but you've got your first piece laying flat, your middle one is on an angle, and then you go back to the flat with the first piece. And you want your score lines to match up and make sure you leave yourself a little bit of space for them to fold. So don't like lay them on top of each other. Leave a little bit of space for the score lines to fold well. So there's that dude. And then I'm just gonna line him up here, just like so. And that is the base of what will be our Christmas tree shape. I just think these look like a Christmas tree to me. So see in green, it really looks like a Christmas tree. Let me show you the original again. So this is the original that Gareth did as my birthday card, and this is the one I've done in green. And to me, this is gonna look just like a Christmas tree. Now, if you were making a card, this is where you would cut your angles of paper to put in the places like Gareth did. See how you put different papers everywhere, and that's super cute. And also, you would need a brad to keep it shut when the recipient gets it once they open the card. Now, I'm not doing that. I'm making a tree using the same idea, so I'm gonna glue mine shut in just a few minutes. But before I do that, I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna fold this guy in half. Just gonna see if this will work. In my mind, it will. We will see. And I have my Big Bite Chomper. This is the big crocodile hole punch that you guys have probably seen before. And I'm gonna set this to the biggest hole punch. So I've got that set. And I'm gonna go around this guy and punch holes. Why? because I want to light it up like a Christmas tree. So I folded it in half and I'm just gonna run around and poke holes everywhere so I can hope if this works, the light will show through. Now I gotta be honest, that was pretty fun and I think a kid would really like doing that. So if you have one of these big bites and you can do this, a child would have a ball. Now I did this folded in half so that when I lined these guys up, 
some of those holes would line up. All of them are not going to. You can see how they don't all line up, but some of them do. And this can be where we put our name plate because this will be the part that won't have as many lights showing through. But look how many holes we get on the sides. Lots of holes here, but we can let this be where our name lives so the light will shine everywhere. So I went to the Dollar Tree and found these little tea lights, two for a dollar. And see how it lights up? And we can sit that underneath our tree and it lights. Can you see the lights? I'll take some pictures and some video where you can see it in the dark so you can see how it lights. But now let's put a little name card on it. So from my stamp set called Christmas Stitch Shapes, I'm gonna stamp this little stocking onto some red cardstock. I think that is so cute on there. And this is gonna be where we put the name for our tree to be the little place card holder. And what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna write the person's name. I think what I'll write here is Dad. This will be Dad Seat. So we'll put dad here at the bottom and up at the top where we would have the little fur. I think I'm going to put some little white polka dots all at the top just to dress it up. Now imagine doing this with your kids and letting your kids go crazy decorating these little stockings. You could bring out your stickles, your sequins and your sticky back pearls and things like that. And they could go crazy decorating these little guys it would be super cute. Now I'm just going to take my fussy cutting scissors and cut these out. But another thing. If you were making a bunch of these, remember you can use your scan and cut for stuff like this, or you can find an image on your Cricut cutting machine, or you can even buy these little stockings pre-made in paper cuts, I'm sure, at like the craft store, and you wouldn't even have to do any cutting. That would be super fun. Now to stick this little guy down, I'm just going to use a little foam square on the back of him just like that. You really don't need more than one. These are just going to be something for the day for decoration, so no big deal there. But you could turn these into decor for your home for Christmas. Imagine if you did a bunch in white or in silver cardstock and lined them up on your mantle. That would be so pretty. Now the other thing I want to do is add a little bow to the top of that little stocking as if it were tied onto our tree. And I'm just going to do that with a little art glitter glue. You could use a glue dot or a foam dot or anything here. Even hot glue would work. Now this is just a simple version of what I had in my head and see all the little holes where the light will shine through. But imagine if you added bling, if you added stars to the top, you could do all kinds of stuff with these little trees and use them on your Christmas table, on your dining room table, or even if you do a buffet, you could have them like spread around the food on your buffet table. So all you do at this point little candle light candle like this or a little tea light candle and then put your little tree on top and the lights shine you can't see it from the side but I'll take some video so you can see what it looks like I hope you guys enjoyed that and I hope you try it it also flickers which is really cool because it gives a little movement to the tree thanks so much for watching today and thanks to Gareth for sending me this cool birthday card I have literally wanted to make this Christmas tree version of it for like two years now and haven't tried it so I'm glad I did I hope you guys enjoyed it just a little something cute for your table have a great weekend now there won't be a Monday Day video from me. I'm going to take a little holiday off and enjoy this long weekend with my family and I hope you do the same. I'll see you guys again next Wednesday. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.